right, BB, we made it to the cemetery. And if I'm not mistaken, this might have been, I don't know if they had white people and black people in here at that time, but I think at first this might have been the the black people cemetery, well, or maybe it was, it was just mixed. It was their community. Yeah. I don't know why I wouldn't be. Now, mind you, this is almost two, two and a half miles, three miles from where we were where that sign was, where that house was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we did forget to mention that in Rosewood, the, when you said that there was a white family, somewhere around here is a train. And I think it, it was coming from Archer. That's who picked up on day number six, January 6, when all the blacks finally left, there was a train that some white families helping and the two white conductors helped all those people. Uh, and Get got them out of here and thing. then right after that the seventh was when the town was burnt and then it was told this is a secret yep so let's see if we can find the carriers or the carters uh they're in here yeah okay yes all right bb one thing we did we do know okay i mean this person was buried in 2002 but there's seashells yeah. and there's mounds I've never seen that before. It's different. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, they're all like that. They all have seashell and mounds. Well, they are by the sea, so that would make sense. I mean... Well, Cedar Key, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. And, and out here, too, there's no... Like, you could put your house, you could build a 20-story house, and there's no... What's those people? The building inspectors or... Yeah. Or then people that drive around? All right, one thing we do know that there's no code enforcement out here because right. this is an unincorporated, but uh, city or well, just an unincorporated town. town. This yeah. is 1896, 1919, and 1904. All right, let's see. Ooh, 1863. Let's see if we can find the 1923 people. All right, we'll let's see. Yeah, because those are the first four or five yeah. black people that were killed. Now, some of these markers literally just say graves. So these must be some of the ones that were back in 1920s. Right, because the rest of the people that they killed in 1923 and those six days, what I was reading is that somewhere in here, all they did was pile all the bodies yeah, it was and just massive. covered them up. Yeah, there, you know, there is no location of where this, where these bodies are, but these were the ones that got proper burials uh, and stuff. Yeah, a lot of those that just say grave. Yep. Oh my lord. Here's another grave uh, plaque on dirt. And here's another one here. And what we have, what I looked up online, the seashells are not a culture. But it's just like when someone leaves coins on a headstone, the seashells are the same representation. That's saying that somebody was here you know that's how many people came to visit or could have been here at the service but that's what the seashells represent we found John Wright the heroic father and his family Mary Jane Wright and their three children yes right over here by the tree and what did you say John Wright did John Wright was one of the white merchants uh -huh. that helped the black community that was fleeing they would help shelter them to get them to the train to get them out of here to keep them from harm right and we're just going to take a guess that those other ones that just say graves, graves on it they may are going to be of, from the some black. of the victims like yeah. uh lexis gordon was a victim i mean they were the victim of rosewood massacre sam curry or carter they got the mingo god knows williams I mean, there was 27 of them. He was a resident of Brandon, Florida. He survived uh, the massacre. Oh, no, no. He died on January 4th of 1923. But he was a resident of Brandon, Florida. And he died. Uh, he, I guess he came over here after Brandon. Sam Carter, of course, Yes. is the first victim of Rosewood, which was the guy that they tried to get. They forced they, the confession out of Right, him. because they say that, hey, you brought this guy that raped the, the girl to the swamp with another guy, which he did not. Right. 
and they after they told after he told them where they he dropped the guy off he was killed immediately right. and then of course you he was got mutilated before they dropped him off the henry sylvester which in 1910 listed sylvester carter 19 a victim of rosewood massacre son of aunt uh Same. sarah carrier yeah and then of course you got James uh, Carrier. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, uh, says during the, the massacre in 1923, James was an animal trapper. Right. And this is the guy that, you know, it's, it's real hard about the movie because they have it all. I mean, it's just hard. It's, it's, when they do movies, they make it look worse than what it yeah. is and they twist. And the house we were at, that was John, John Wright's Wright house. house. His was the only house that was Survive left standing after and stuff. Yeah, because they burnt the whole town down. Yeah. You know, and if it's just car, like... If, if a black person lived in it or a church, they burnt it down. Well, yeah, because they left. Like I said, right after the train had left, they yeah. literally burnt this whole down, town down and they tried to cover it up. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, this is all like, you know, this is all swamp area. Just so, so just imagine 1923. You know, you're walking through this here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's no fence here, but this tree, I'm sure this tree was here. It might have been itty bitty, but it was here. That little magnolia over there. Yeah. I mean, this is where they were getting, uh, this was the tree mill, the sawmill area yeah. was here that the whites were uh, working at. Yeah. So, it's pretty a story, but we're just going to take a guess that one of those graves over there. Or a lot of those graves. That are, are marked. Mark. Right. Were the first either four or six the black people that were killed yeah. from the massacre, and it's a shame that you know the old lady Sarah, I think that was her name, Sarah, yeah. was killed, and you know after raising, and in the Generation. movie, yeah, and it rough white people, yeah, you know even in the movie it, it it detailed that the person that shot them he knew he was dead if he if he said he shot her yeah. by the white people. Because yeah. even in the movie, you could see the look on their faces, like, like who did that? Like you that's shouldn't even right. Like that. yeah, like you. That was one lady that she had respect <laughs> yeah. of the town. Yeah, uh, whites, black, everybody. Yeah, they all respected her. Highly respected that lady. Yeah, but it's like I said, you know, some some of the stuff we're gonna get wrong, some of the stuff we're gonna get right. But watch the movie. This is where they're at. Down the road is Cedar Key. Yeah. Uh, and if we get it wrong, let us know. Yeah. We're good with that. I mean, it's about, you know, getting it right. Like I said, we're not historians, and we're not out here to say we're historians. We no. just happen to be exploring, and we found this place. Yeah. Uh, and then next thing you know, we're looking it up, and voila, there's Where history in Florida. Oh, this is where on. the massacre that was covered up of a black town that was, that the KKK and the white people and literally I destroyed. I honestly thought that that wouldn't have happened here in Florida. But that was... That over a false accusation. I know. Now, up to that time when I was reading about the history, there was like a black person that killed the teacher. They hung him. I mean, there's crime no matter where you go. There was crime here. But, yeah, but when you think of massacres going on, you're thinking Alabama. Yeah, but this guy here that ran the mill, I think he had power. I think that guy had power that his wife was cheating on him and then lied. She, he had the power. That's why he had the whole town. Right. You know. And but I honestly didn't think that anything that traumatic would have happened here. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, until our next video. See ya. See ya. Yeah, you hear shit about that. You think the Mississippi, Alabama. <laughs>